Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. We're now only 8 days away from the early access period of Battlefront 2 and then roughly 2 weeks from the full launch. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who will be playing the Battlefront 2 campaign first, simply to make sure that I don't get spoiled. And I kind of feel like just finishing the entire campaign in one go before I move on to multiplayer. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the Inferno Squad novel that I did read earlier this summer when it was released to the public. And it was actually the first Star Wars book that I read, or well, listened to to be more specific. And it really gave you a completely new depth to the Star Wars universe compared to just watching the movie or playing the game when that's out, as I feel like the main thing that the book does so well compared to what the campaign seems to do based on those first three missions is actually getting inside the heads of the members of the Inferno Squad, especially Aiden. We've now seen the first three missions and have a little bit of an idea of what they will contain and based on that it doesn't seem like we will get a ton of personality driven story, which I do think makes sense considering that's not usually how they tell a story in the Star Wars universe, but in the Inferno Squad novel you really get to see how the Inferno Squad sometimes struggles to know what's good, what's bad, what should we do in this situation, although still remaining loyal to the Empire and I'm really glad I did decide to read that book because I feel like that's gonna give me some background of all the characters that's gonna be in the campaign instead of just jumping straight into a mission where you go around killing rebels with Aiden I will actually know the backstory for each of these characters, what they've been up to so far, and also a little bit of what I can expect them to do, because without spoiling too much, the book does give you a very good idea of how the different characters actually think about the Empire, and some of them are maybe a little bit more extreme than others, and I think that's something we will probably see pan out into some of the events in the campaign, because obviously we've seen in the trailers that Aiden screams, I am your commander, and we've also seen that Admiral Versio seems to be quite pissed off at one of them and I think by reading the book I've got a little bit of an idea of at least who it could be that Aiden is screaming to and so on. And overall the pacing of the book I have to say was quite slow to the point where it's not the kind of book you want to read if you want to have a new mission every 20 minutes like I'm assuming the campaign might be but instead the majority of the book plays out during one event which is why there's so much time for a character driven story and for you to get to know the actual characters in the Inferno Squad. I just wanted to share my brief thoughts on that. And if any of you guys are interested in listening to this book during these two weeks of wait, you can actually get it completely free through audible.com because they were kind enough to hook me up with a link that allows you to get one audiobook for free, no strings attached, which means that you can get Inferno Squad without paying a single cent. And that's actually exactly what I did. And Janina Gavankar, the actor for Aiden Versio in Battlefront 2, is also the narrator for that book and she does a fantastic job. So for me it was great to actually hear different voices for the characters instead of trying to imagine them in my head myself. And if you've never listened to or read a Star Wars book, I think this might be a good time to get into it, especially if you're planning to play the Battlefront 2 campaign, because I think it will definitely make the actual campaign more enjoyable. But yeah, that was all for this video. If you have read or listened to the Inferno Squad book, how do you think the campaign is gonna play out? Are any of the events that we see in the book gonna affect potential scenes in the campaign or not? Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.